Well, hello everybody. I was going to share some information with you guys today. You know, if you guys have been watching the channel, you know that I'm kind of of the mindset of being prepared, you know, and, and try to, you know, we grow our own beef around here, growing our own food. Um, I've had this propane dual fuel gasoline propane generator, and my mindset has been if we had an extended power outage, I could run it off my big home propane tank. So my home is a geothermal HVAC system. This propane tank only runs my gas range in the kitchen. This 250 gallon tank, I filled it twice, I think in four years. Never did empty, it was just low, we had them top it off. So my, my thought process is, well, I can use this tank to run my generator um, for extended power outage to keep my freezers and stuff full. I'll show you the problem I run into. So I've left this hooked up. So this guy, just there is nothing interesting about this. This is just a standard home propane setup. When they installed it, I asked them to put a T in the line with the ball valve. My thought process, I had, I had my propane vendor build this hose for me, is this is a regulated propane line going through here to the generator. I thought that would work like a champ. Well, it does not. So what happens, I turn the ball valve on and on the generator, on the machine itself, this is essentially a ball valve that turns the propane on and off. I think this is really standard generic stuff. So what happened is when I turn the ball valve, when I turn this ball valve on, you could just hear this thing just screaming with volume of flow through this hose. It was almost making a, a vibration or a humming type sound. So on the generator, I throttled this to about half flow and the generator would start. If I had it all the way on, it would not start. So I, I knew there was something not right. So what I'm gonna do now is I've got some fittings and I'm gonna hook this regulated hose to the generator and to here. I'm gonna set the camera down, I'll put it all together and show you guys what I did. Okay, so I've got some fittings here. This is just a standard gas brass valve. Got a couple bushings. This valve is the valve that your standard propane bottle fitting screws onto. And this is just a generic regulated hose. I mean, you go to Ace Hardware and buy one of those. My propane vendor had all of these other fittings on the shelf, so I think they must be relatively common. Of course, this hose just screws into the into this side of the generator. So we're going to turn this on. Well, I got a leak somewhere. So this plastic nut wasn't quite on there tight enough for this to see. setting on the machine. We'll see if it'll start. video um, I hope this helps someone I just learned this I actually couldn't find anything like this on the internet uh, of course I'm a YouTube guy so I watched YouTube a lot couldn't find anything about this so this was a, a big learning curve for me I told my wife I said I'm almost embarrassed I've been feeling like I'm so prepared and and got this backup generator all set up but I never test drove it 
I never hooked it all up. I thought I, I had everything right. Well, I didn't. So a little bit interesting for me that way in the sense that, uh, you know, I was banking on something that, that wasn't really right. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody out. Um, very interesting to me about the gasoline part. I made the comment a few minutes ago that this generator runs with no electric on propane. That is not the case with gasoline. I don't know exactly why, but the battery and the, the basically what I'm gonna say, the ignition switch has to be turned on to run on gasoline, but it doesn't on propane. I know that there's a solenoid inside the carburetor to shut the gasoline off. Mine has failed, so I know that it doesn't work. Um, so I'm not sure. Anyway, this has been a great generator. Um, haven't used it a ton. I've had a little bit of issues with it and I feel like I'm getting them sorted out, but uh, hopefully that'll help somebody. If somebody watching this knows more about propane, I'd like an explanation on it. My propane vendor could not explain this to me. I told him what was going on and he says, well, I don't have a clue. He said the, gener or the uh, regulators on the house are different than the regulators for the bottles and, and these portable machines. So I'd like to hear a good explanation if somebody has it. So anyway, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.